In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Laravel 5.5. So, to install Laravel 5.5 in Windows uh, and in XAMPP, you need to make sure that your XAMPP has at least PHP 7.1. Otherwise, you cannot install Laravel 5.5. Okay, so here is my XAMPP and I'm just opening the Apache and the MySQL so both are running and now I am going to open my browser here typing localhost and here is my localhost and checking the PHP info to show you that I do have installed the PHP 5.7 version and so I can install Laravel 5.5 and then I need to open the composer to install so before that uh, open the Laravel uh, sorry, uh, exam control panel and go to the explorer and then browse to the htdocs folder and then I have created a new folder called Laravel apps to host all of my Laravel applications here so you can create your own folder according to your need then I'm gonna install Laravel 5.5 here in this directory so here I am just clicking the shift then right click which will give me an option to open the command prompt here so here I will type composer uh, create dash project then laravel slash laravel then the project folder name so here I am going to uh, name my project as laravel 5 l55 for laravel 5.5 so after that click enter then it will uh, fetch all of the requirements dependencies uh, from the compo uh, composer and according to your internet speed it will take some time uh, so here uh, i am just waiting for to finish the all download process so here you can see that uh, l55 folder has been created and all the dependencies are uh, installing there and now my project has successfully uh, downloaded from composer then I need to go to that l55 folder so I am typing cd space l55 then also I need to open this project into the text editor so the text editor I am using is called Visual Studio Code you can use any kind of uh, code editor according to your need so for me Visual Studio is really Visual Studio Code is really nice because I can actually get a right click option like Notepad++ so I'm opening opening in the whole project in Visual Studio Code. Then all of my project has been opened in uh, Visual Studio Code. So here, uh, before that, I can show you that the Laravel 5.5 uh, uh, already been installed. So for that. Go navigate to your 
navigate your browser to the folder name so according to my directory here my project name would be uh, localhost slash laravel apps slash ll5 so i am typing it localhost slash laravel apps slash l55 then okay so it seems that it's not there so something wrong so let me check what's wrong there Laravel apps okay okay so i actually type wrong so here is the laravel 5.5 project so navigate the public folder and you will see that your laravel has been installed so now i'm going to create uh, i'm going to show you three different ways to actually customize this uh, app and this web app so uh, the three different methods are using the route routing level then the view level and then the controller level so first of all uh, i'm opening the project in the visual studio code then checking the route folder and then the web.php file then here you'll see that the default route has been created so i am now going to create my own route and then i am going to name the route is called hello so route uh, has a method called get and get has two argument first argument takes the route name and then a function so here i am not going to add any kind of uh, parameter here so just a return statement called hello from route then save it and then open the browser here and type hello and then you'll see that the hello from route message has been shown so in the next i'm going to create a view <coughs> so then navigate into the view folder the view folder is located in the resource and then the views and then i'm going to create a new view so for that my view name would be hello and then the convention blade.php okay so sorry i actually clicked the wrong link so again go to the project here and then the views folder create a new file called hello dot plate dot php then type hello from the view and then save it and to show it from view i also need to configure the route and here the web php comment the return statement and then add a view method like the default one i mean the default this one okay return view then it will take the view name my view name is called hello and then save it and then refresh it 
you see that the message is showing correctly hello from the view and then the third and last method is uh, called the for the controller and for that uh, I need to change the route method and comment it and not actually the uncommon uh, I'm just uh, actually commenting the whole uh, route because the controller level actually takes the different way so it takes the route name and then the second parameter takes the controller name so my controller name would be hello controller then add then the method name called index okay so then save it and I need to create this controller and the controller will be created under the app folder okay so it locates in the app then the HTTP then the controller then here the controller will be created so to create a controller I'm going to use the command prompt again and to so there is a artisan method php artisan hello controller then okay so make colon controller then the controller name so the command is php space artisan space make colon controller space the control name then paste enter and then you'll see that the controller has been created so according to my route the controller name is index uh, sorry the method name is index so i need to create that method uh, function index then return the view here I mean method like that okay return the view from here return view then the view name then save it and I'm going to change the message called controller I mean in the same view I'm going to just changing the text here and then refreshing it and you'll see that the controller is working so I hope that this video is helpful for you to install Laravel 5.5 uh, in Windows machine using xam so thanks for watching see you in the next video